Hi everyone, so I am back today with another planner video. I know it's a little bit later in March, but I still wanted to film this anyway just because I have never done one of these before, so I thought let's try this out together. So I am here with my Happy Planner, of course you all know that this is one of the planners that I use. And in case you're wondering, I do have one of the hard covers on it. And then my cover is actually from Stylish Planners. I believe this is still on her Etsy shop, but if it's not, I just recommend her shop in general. And today we are going to be filming a plan with me for the monthly spread, as you can see by the title, for the month of March. I hauled this last week, or no, 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 just kidding. I hauled this on Monday, and I thought, like I said, we could just experience this together, so I am going to flip to March, take the pages out of my happy planner, zoom you guys in, and we are just going to get started. So since I've never done a video on the monthly spreads, I've never done a plan with me on these, you guys probably don't know what I typically do with them. And all I do is I just put double stick tape on one side and then I tape them shut because these aren't really that useful to me. In my happy planner, I use them in my personal planner which I take around with me, but in my happy planner, I don't really have a use for them, but I saw this kit and I really liked it. So I wanted to use it and kind of just try it out and see how it went. I don't have much to put in the month of March. The month of March is actually pretty boring for me. So I have zoomed you guys in as much as I possibly can. And I am absolutely terrified right now on how this is gonna go. You know what, actually, let's not start on this side. Let's start on this side because I've never done this. And we're gonna take the date covers and let's see. Okay, so it goes to the edge of the page. Guys, I'm super nervous right now. I don't think you can understand. Also, I, I don't know if I mentioned this. I mentioned this in my haul video and if you haven't seen that, now you can see that this does have some blue foil on it and the quote says, carry with you the things that will bring you joy. Okay, guys, I'm so, oh, I'm so nervous. Also, fun fact, I've never done a talk through plan with me. I just realized that the other, I think I've only ever done two other plan with me's on this channel and they've both been voiceovers guys i'm literally i'm so nervous okay 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 <gasps> it's down i did it there it is it goes all the way to the edge of the page in case you've never done one either and you don't know and you want to try one out it goes all the way to the edge of the page i highly recommend just lining it up here oh i thought this was one big box but it's actually not. It's two separate boxes, which I sort of don't know how I feel just because I think it might make it harder to line up, but easier to put down. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I'm sure you guys do. Okay, we're actually going to flip this on its side so that I can line it up a little bit better. Potentially, maybe, we'll see. Okay, we're gonna try to get this on straight. And can I do it? That, that is the real question. Not really straight, that's okay. So I'm just gonna leave it. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, I don't know if you can even really tell. There's a little bit more white space here at the top of this page than there is on the other half. But to be honest, I think a lot of the Happy Planner pages are like that. They're just cut differently, which doesn't bother me. I'm just putting it out there. That's how they are. I'm gonna flip this over actually so that I can attempt to line up 
the bottom half of this. We are going to see how this goes. If my head ends up in the shot, I'm real sorry, guys. Okay, I think there's no um, foiling on the bottom half which is nice. I think that is lined up. Oh gosh, please. Ooh, actually, I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I think that worked out. So next I'm just gonna go in with the sidebar stickers and this is just for notes and goals and I'm going to put it down the side, obviously, and just line it up. We turned upside down again. And we're gonna line it up to the edge. This is hard because you kind of have to line it up to both edges and hope that it, one doesn't overlap but also fits correctly. Okay, so there's one. Just move it on down. Then we will do the second, which will be a little bit easier because now I'm just lining it up with this one edge, if I can. See how this goes. I think, do I have to trim it a little bit? Mm, I do actually have to trim it. So I'm just going to take some scissors that I have and like very very little but I'm just gonna cut it off so now let's go in with you know what? I'm actually gonna go in with my date dots and then I will be right back so as you can see I put down all of the date dots except for on March 12th because I believe that is daylight savings time let me just check and make sure but if it is I'm going to use the full box and it is so I'm going to use the full box that came with the kit and then put the date over it. So this is the full box. It says spring forward with a cute little plant on it. What are these called? Oh my gosh, why can't I remember? And I wanted to get one for my side table here in my living room. And now I can't remember what it's called. So I think it's meant to cover the entire box, including the black lines. So that's what I'm gonna do and try to be straight, which it is for the most part. I'm just gonna put the 12 in the corner. And then you get an extra full box. It's this girl holding that big bouquet and I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna place it on the extra day here at the bottom. There's something on my nail. I'm just gonna cover that. And again, try to cover up the whole thing, making it as straight as possible, which it's not, but you know what, that's okay. So that's, <laughs> there's not much going on during this month for me, like I said. Let me put down my two paydays though. So it's on the 15th and on the 31st. So, oh wait, that says day off. Whoops, wrong stickers. That would have been, oh actually I do need that though. So we'll take one of those because I still need a day off sticker actually. I meant to take the payday stickers. So let me just put that there. I like that these are foiled. I wish, I know so many people love her foiled stickers and just love foiled stickers in general. And I can see the appeal now that I'm actually using one. Let me white out this St. Patrick's Day, which is actually the day that I'm taking off. <laughs> And I'm just gonna put day off sticker. There. I'm glad it says day off because that's actually how I mark it in my planner. 
So I'm gonna take two of the holiday boxes that she has. Okay, I zoomed you guys in again because I feel like it's better if I'm zoomed in. So we're just gonna put the Ash Wednesday box here. And I know you guys are probably sick of me contemplating exactly how it's supposed to go, but since I've never used one of these, I just want to make sure it looks right. And we'll put the St. Patrick's Day one on St. Patrick's Day, which is the same day that I am taking off. Okay, so let me see what I can do. You know what I'm actually going to do since I don't have a lot going on? I'm going to use these quarter boxes to mark the days that I'm going to Pure Bar because this month I am doing the Pure Bar 20 and 31 day challenge. So I'm going to use a combination of these plus these and put it on the dates that I'm going just because there's nothing else for me to mark down. I'm probably going to end up taking more than 20 classes of Pure Bar, but you know what? That's okay. Okay, so I ended up putting down all of them, which as you can see, fills up the monthly spread a lot. But since I don't have much going on this month, I actually like it that way. And I tried to mix in the foil boxes when I remembered. And then suddenly at the end, I had three foil boxes in a row, which I was trying to avoid, but it's totally fine. Doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna go in with some Bill Do stickers, which there's only three here. And I have more than three bills that I need to pay, but I'm trying to make sure that I put them on days where they won't be matching. So let's put, this is so hard guys. I don't want it to like totally match, but I think somewhere along the way it's going to. So. Let's put one bill here on the seventh. So that's, oh gosh. That is one of my bills. And then I have a bunch that I need to pay. So let's use, let's not use that one. Let's use this gold one, I like that one. Um, I have another one on the 18th, so let's use this gold there. I have one on the 21st that is due. Okay, and then I had, oh, I know what's due on this day, let's do, oops. Um, okay, so we do have to use this one. We'll use this blue one up here, which is technically just like a, I guess like an appointment label. And then this, what was this for? I can't even remember. Oh, I know, I'm being silly. Okay, and then we'll put that here on the third, even though I think that was this one I technically paid on the fourth, but that's okay. So then let me put in some icons. So this one will use a home icon because that's my rent bill. And then I need a TV here for my TV and internet, technically. So is there a car? Yes, there's a car one. Put that there. And the 18th, we'll just use, oh, nope. There's a credit card bill here. So I'll use that one there. And 
then this one is for my electrical bill. So we'll put this little charging cord there. And then there is other some other stuff I need to remember or that I really I went to like this one. This, I'll just put this here. Um, put on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but you will when I'm done. I went to the dermatologist on that day. And then let's put a heart sticker on this day. There's not a ton of room, but the 17th is just a very crowded day. That's the day that Beauty and the Beast comes out, which is, when you guys see this video, it will be tomorrow. So that's my day off. I'm gonna go see it on that day. So let's put one on that day. And then I think that's it. So I have a ton of stickers left on this sheet, so I'm gonna keep it because I really like the foiling here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it all in and then I will be back with the finished product. Okay guys, so that is it. This is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a first for me and a first for you guys here on my channel too. My hands started to cramp really badly by the time that I was filling in this little section because I did it page by page. And I think it was just from writing the same thing over and over again. If you guys want to know, the pen that I use is the Papermate Inkjoy gel pen in the 0 0.5 fine, extra fine tip, I believe. And I just really like this pen. I know a lot of people use it and it really is one of the best, but I hope you guys like this. I'm actually super, super happy with the way this turned out. And I'm so glad that I marked it down all the days that I was going to Pure Bar because now I can easily see when I'm going and when I really need to schedule my, or sign up for the class on a line and yeah so i hope you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did i would love it if you guys did i'd love to have you guys here whenever i have a new video and i will see you all next week with a new one bye everyone